We now know that the Legends Festival 2023 reveals and stuff will be happening on November 23rd. I'm excited, and a ton of others are excited as well. But because of said excitement, it made me want to ask this question on Twitter. So I asked, Dragon Ball Legends community talk to me, Legends Festival 2023 is coming up very soon, and there are still a ton of units that can be added into the game. Who would you guys like to see added for Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of the Legends Festival? You might use this for a video. So we're going to be going through a lot of the responses because I am curious to see which characters you guys suggested for Legends Festival 2023. And then, of course, I see, like, first thing I see is my homie Hannah. But Hannah said, Shallot, with an E. Give me my boy. Look. Hannah not wrong. I'm going to be honest with you. Look, I, I don't expect... <laughs> I don't expect us to get Shallot like right now, but it would be fire if we did, right? In truth, I, I don't understand why we don't have Shallot as a playable character. I really don't because it's kind of similar to like what they did with, uh, you know, Giblet and Zaha, where they have been around since darn near day one. Well, Zaha for sure. Uh, Giblet, I don't remember if he was around like in day one, but they've been around for many, many years. And we only recently got those characters i believe was it last year that we got those units so with shallot again the fusion between giblet and shallot being a thing i don't understand why we don't have him as an obtainable character i mean it's not as if they're gonna make him a light unit anyway the only light type in the game is shallot with the oh right they made giblet and zaha have regular element factor if i'm not mistaken Giblet is a red unit and Zaha is a blue unit. So, again, they could easily make Shallot a playable character and just give him a regular element factor. Make him a yellow unit. Make him a green unit. Make him a purple unit. Do something. But there's no way in the world they'll make a summon for him. He'd definitely be a free-to-play unit. But they could absolutely give us Shallot. Do I think it's going to happen during the Legends Festival? Absolutely not. But hopefully soon andrew miller said for me it would be this part one lf tag ssbk goku and blue evo vegeta part two lf omega shenron and lf gt vegeta that transforms into super saiyan 4 part three lf ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta okay um I, I don't even know where to begin with all this because the units themselves sound perfectly fine in my opinion right the rarities for a few of them I don't agree with that at all. Like, for example, part one sounds perfectly fine to me, like 100%, because it's still crazy how we don't have Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Vault Vegeta as a tag unit in the game yet. I, it literally makes no sense, because if we don't get them for Legends Festival, they have to be for the anniversary next year. There's just no way in the world they're going to drag out that unit for that long. It doesn't make any sense. But... LF Omega Shenron and LF GT Vegeta that transforms into Super Saiyan 4. I strongly, I heavily disagree at the fact that we're going to get two LF units in one banner for Legends Festival. That's not going to happen because they're working on an Ultra unit. So I can see one LF unit per banner leading up to the Ultra unit, but not two at one. Like, I, I significantly doubt that. And between the two, I would actually like to see omega shenron get an lf because i mean we technically do have an lf super saiyan 4 vegeta already with tag super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta so i'm kind of okay with that i would much rather like to see omega shenron get some love and heck maybe even for some general sparkings we can probably get oceanus in the game i mean if we're able to get kyawe in the game i'm surprised we haven't gotten oceanus yet that makes no sense to me and then of course part three lf ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I agree with. LF, not happening. Like, if we're to get that rarity, that's anniversary. So, again, Legends Festival is a big event, but I don't think that we're going to be getting an LF Ultra anytime soon. Bro, this dude said, I just want to be in the video, Kuba. Well, you're in the video, bro. John Skywalker said, Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved LF Part 1, Super Saiyan God and Beerus Dual LF Part 2, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Part 3. Okay, so for the first part, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta as a tag unit. And of course, as an LF, of course. Like, I, I think that would be a very, very strong way to lead off, like starting off Legends Festival. That'd be a very strong way to do it, right? Part 2, I agree with only half of 
what this person suggested. I Do I believe that we should get a new Super Saiyan God Goku? Absolutely, for a multitude of reasons. But him being paired up with Beerus makes no sense because Goku and Beerus have never fought together. So, again, having them as a tag unit will... I would actually go on record and say that will never happen. But... Would it be cool if it happened? Of course. But I don't believe that will ever happen because it has never happened. But I do believe that getting a new Super Saiyan God Goku would be pretty cool. I would actually really like to see something like that. As an LF? Actually, yeah. Like, I, I would like to see that as an LF as well. Specifically from Battle of Gods. Because, again, like, we did get to see Super Saiyan God Goku in action in the Broly movie, but... Battle of Gods Goku gets darn near no love, and I have no idea why. It was the introduction to that transformation, and it never gets any updates. Like, it's been, I don't know how long since we've had a new Super Saiyan God Goku unit. I believe, what, the free-to-play Super Saiyan God Goku, the green unit, was the last one that we got. Again, free-to-play unit, and it didn't last that long, so... I would like to see a new Super Saiyan God Goku, because I don't know what's going on with that unit, but they really don't like making that unit anymore for some reason. And then, of course, again, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has an ultra unit to end off the festival. Again, it's it's going to have to happen. Like, there's no way in the world that it's not. Dread said, Part 1, Uni Rep, LF Base Jiren, Sparking Kefla, and Sparking Kaba. Part 2, Saiyan Saga, LF Vegeta, or LF Goku Kaoken, Sparking Piccolo, Sparking Nappa. Part 3 GT Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'm going to be honest with you. I heavily disagree with that entire list apart from one thing. And just getting it out the way. I disagree with everything apart from Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, that's the only thing on this list that actually makes sense. And I would even go as far as to say would be even worthy to be a part of Legends Festival. Like, I kid you not. If we were to get... An LF base Jiren, a Sparking Kepla, and Sparking Kaba for Legends Festival, that would not bode well at all. And even solidifying, like, the next part even further, if we were to get Saiyan Saga for Legends Festival, that would also not bode well as well. Like, I'm not trying to demean each saga, but, I mean, Universe Rep is definitely worthy for Legends Festival, just not those characters. And, well, no, not base Jiren, no, not, no. Like, just Kefla, Kaba, and Base Jiren, no. Not for Legends Festival. No way in the world. Um, part 2 Saiyan Saga, that alone, I don't believe, is anywhere near the tier of Legends Festival. I mean, based on how Legends Festival even started, and then where it's at now, there is no way anybody would, like, tolerate Saiyan Saga as acceptable. Like, no way in the world. Like, quite literally... If it's not like a super hype character or a saga that had like super crazy moments happen in it, nobody's going to summon on that banner. I mean, prime example, right? And this obviously isn't Legends Festival, but there was a banner a while back where we had, I believe it was Nappa and uh, I believe it was uh, Revival Gohan, um, like Revival loosely, right? You know, with Piccolo and all that stuff and nobody summoned on that banner. Like, literally nobody summoned on that banner, right? And that was Saiyan Saga. So, like, if it wasn't worthy for people to summon on as a regular banner, I significantly doubt anybody's going to summon on that banner for Legends Festival. There is no way in the world. And even at that, like, obviously it would be Vegeta and Kaoken Goku because that moment is actually a legendary moment just in Dragon Ball General, but not Legends Festival worthy. No way in the world. But apart from that, though, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Yeah. Traylist said, Part 1, Evo and Kaioken. Part 2, LF Super Vegeta and LF Transforming Gohan into Super Saiyan 2. Part 3, Ultra Gogeta 4 with a GT Mega Rising. Okay, so again, Part 1, I completely agree. I, I think that that would be like the best way to start off the event. Part 3, again, everybody's saying it. So I, I think I'm going to just not really give any more commentary on part three unless something's like vastly uh, different from what i see part two is interesting though um i love super vegeta and l transforming go on into super saiyan 2 uh okay um i don't think that there would be again two lf units like for one banner in 
or during the Legends Festival, like I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Cause again, they have to make the Ultra units. So there's no way that they can make three LF units and then an Ultra. Like, no, that, that doesn't happen. But I would like to see an LF Super Vegeta because Final Flash, obviously, right? And then you, you guys already know how I feel about Gohan. Like that, that's my goat, right? But surprisingly, I actually don't see this happening for Legends Festival. I, I don't think it it's enough. Well, okay. Vegeta in particular would be really exciting. Obviously, Gohan would be very exciting. But we already have multiple LF Gohans, right? And sure, we have like multiple LF units of like a specific character, right? Like, for example, we have multiple Super Saiyan 3 Gokus with LF units, right? But I believe that with Gohan, since there's only, what, two moments that he's actually utilized Super Saiyan 2, like, in a battle, or at least as far as we know, right? It, it obviously, Cell Saga in the BoJack movie. I think that we're at the point where if we were to get a new Super Saiyan 2, like, Gohan, he should be an Ultra unit instead. Like, again, like, Father, Son, Kamehameha is one of the biggest moments in all of Dragon Ball. So, seeing that we already have an LF for it, they could definitely make a new LF Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and kind of like redo Father Son because let's be honest, even though the animation is cool, the animations of like the early days of LFs compared to now, vastly different, vastly different. But as nice as that would be, I would much rather have that Gohan be an ultra unit and maybe they can add like uh, tap actions to it or maybe they can add like something else. Actually. It's crazy because I made a suggestion that if we were supposed to get like an LF Ultra, right? Then they should add the ink brush effect to said Ultra's ultimate attack, right? And I have a tweet showing like a sort of reference ironically with Gohan based on what Super Dragon Ball Heroes is doing with Meteor Mission and some of the characters in that game, where if they use their special move, they unleash like, you know, their move, but it has an ink brush effect and it looks really really cool i have a tweet out for that so um check that out and if you guys can't find it i'll probably just put it in like the description or like a pinned comment or something but that would be really cool for gohan so i would much rather see that than have him be another lf unit personally speaking matthew 555 said here's what i would want for part one lf tag super saiyan blue kalkan goku and super saiyan blue vault vegeta for part two lf gt spirit bomb goku or lf omega shenron if we are following the fifth anniversary format for part three ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta i think this is probably the most sound prediction that i have seen so far right again part one part three completely agree with i've already explained multiple times on both those not going to get into that but part two is actually pretty solid especially for legends festival i can see something like this happening again lfgt spirit bomb goku i don't believe we've even had like that unit as an elf unit actually the first Kid Goku LF unit we got was literally a few months ago. So, to have LF, like the uh, Spirit Bomb Goku from, you know, Dragon Ball GT, that would be pretty cool because that was obviously a very big moment in Dragon Ball GT. It's what wiped out Omega Shenron. So, to have a moment like that as an LF would be incredible. It would be absolutely insane. And also, it would be a GT buff. And plus, we still don't have that in the game, so there's that. And not only that, Omega Sharon is another unit that should have had an LF because, one, the fact that he doesn't have one is insane, but Gogeta has had an LF unit for two and a half years now, so that's kind of crazy. Granted, I mean, Omega Sharon doesn't have an Ultra unit, and Gogeta doesn't have one yet, so... Well, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta specifically doesn't have one, but Omega Sharon does, so there's that. But it would be nice to see Omega Sharon have an LF because obviously he has moves that he can use as an LF. And the fact that we don't have one yet for him, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. But honestly, I think this is probably like one of the most sound predictions that I've seen for Legends Festival 2023 so far. Nindrago said, the majority of the player base is expecting Ultra Gogeta 4 for the Festival Ultra, but I can see someone else getting the Ultra Spotlight this year. And then they put up their predictions. So they said for part one, it was going to be Super Saiyan Blue, Kakan Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta as a tag, LF units. Uh, the general sparkings were gonna be, you know, Majin Buu when he slimmed down in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I'm assuming that's gonna be Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. And 
Topo that transforms into God of Destruction Topo. Part two would be an LF Super Baby 2. I'm assuming the LF is him turning, uh, turning into the Golden Great Ape. Then we have uh, General Sparking Tag, GT, Gohan, and Goten. Uh, I'm assuming it's uh, Baby Gohan and Baby Goten, like the ones that were, you know, controlled by Baby. Uh, and then another LF Super Saiyan 4, Goku. And then a Sparking Oob that transforms into Maju. And then part three is Ultra Super Saiyan 2, Teen Gohan. So, um, th this, is, this is interesting. Part one, I think, would be perfectly fine. Like, even with all those Sparking units, I think that would be perfectly fine. Part two? Part two doesn't seem bad at all the only revision i would say is swap out super saiyan 4 goku with something else um or well okay not necessarily swap him out just take off the lf because again we already have multiple lf super saiyan 4 gokus and there's no way in the world they're doing a dual lf banner for legends festival i mean i'm not gonna sit there and say that it's impossible like i, I think i said earlier in this video that it is impossible but to be fair, right, for this year's anniversary, that's kind of how things started. We did get one LF for part one, part two, we got two LFs, and then part three, we did get an ultra. So if they do that for the anniversary, I guess in truth, that is possible for Legends Festival. So I, I take back what I said, even from earlier in the video, if I said that it's not possible for us to get two LFs in one banner for Legends Festival, I take that back. It is possible because they did it for the fifth anniversary. So um having that hindsight i actually think that's fine i actually think part two is fine and then part three look bro again super saiyan 2 teen gohan is my favorite character in all of dragon ball right if we get an ultra for him i am my bank account is going to be in the negative okay i'm talking about i gotta reimburse all sorts of banks <laughs> if that unit ends up being the part three ultra okay nothing will stop I will owe Toshi money. I will owe him money because I guarantee you I will find any possible way to have my Chrono Crystals be in the negative. Guaranteed. I will owe that man money, bro. If that is the part three ultra, I'm getting him. And again, quote me on this, all the good stuff. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how long the video may be. If part three is Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan, I will 14 star that unit on in one video. Whether the video is 30 minutes long or two hours, I don't care, he will be 14 star. I think this is a decent one to end it off on, but Naeem Plus said, part one, tag Kaoken Goku and Evolve Vegeta. Part two, future is already busted, but a tag Goku Black and Zamasu. Part three, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Also good free to play units to coincide with respective releases. So again, part one, part three, already spoken length about that, not getting into that. But part two, I, I think in truth, this will happen. I think this will absolutely happen. This is the most sound thing, I, I, like sound prediction I've seen all around, right? Like we saw one earlier in this video, but I think this is the most sound prediction all around. Again, Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta leading off the festival makes perfect sense. Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta ending the festival makes perfect sense, but Future having some sort of representation in Legends Festival, which has happened for multiple years now, makes sense as well. And we got, what, we've gotten like Sword of Hope Trunks, uh, we got uh, Tag, Trunks, and Vegeta with Father, Son, Gallic Gun last year. So, getting a Goku Black and Zamasu as an actual Tag unit would be fire. That would actually be flames because we had them as a duo unit, right? Like when that was still a thing. But now that tag units are a thing, having them as a tag unit only makes sense. I would actually be okay, especially if it was an LF. Because again, you got to remember when um, Zamasu and Goku Black first paired up and they were fighting against Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks were getting bodied by those two. They were getting annihilated by those two. Like their LF could be when um, Zamasu held down both uh, Goku and Trunks and then Goku Black hit them with a black Kamehameha. Like, that could be an LF. Like, th there's, and there's more moments too, especially if they add Rose into the mix. So having that as a part two, like LF tag unit would be incredible. I, I would actually be so down to summon on a banner like that. And I think 
others would be as well because it's future and a lot of units from the future are really freaking cool but honestly anything is possible when it comes down to legends festival 2023 there are so many characters that we don't even have in the game yet and there's so many different rarities of characters that we don't have in the game yet as well so again literally anything is possible but i do want to know in the comment section below who do you guys believe will be the three units that we get for legends festival 2023 again for part one part two and part three again let me know in the comment section below but with that being said i'm in like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video